Hey guys, Christina Knight here reporting from Caesars Palace. I'm here to give you guys an update on what's been going on at the Caesars Palace Classic. I talked with tournament director Chris Tessitore all about it. So Chris, how has the Caesars Palace Classic been going so far? Well, we're four events in and so far we're very happy with the results. We've seen almost 500 people in our $550 tournaments and in the ballpark of 200 people for our $1,000 uh, events. So the prize pools are reaching over a quarter million dollars and the winners uh, have received $66,000 and $87,000 so far. Awesome. Now I heard you had quite the scene here yesterday because Olympian Michael Phelps made the final table. Tell me about that. Well, we were very happy to see that Michael Phelps came in and decided to play in one of our events on Saturday. That was a $1,000, excuse me, a $1,500 buy-in and he did make the final table. He came in ninth place and uh, it did cause a little bit of a stir. Everybody was a little excited to have him in here and we gave him a ceremonious ninth gold medal. It was a Caesars Palace medallion. Awesome. A ninth medal for ninth place. It works out. So what is today's event and how is it going so far? Today was a $1,000 buy-in event. There were 175 players and once again Michael Phelps is playing and there's also a bunch of pros in this field. So we think that the prize pool is going to be in the ballpark of 115000 So it should be another exciting finish. Great, now what events do we have left leading up to the main event? Well, this week is actually a good opportunity for players who want to play games other than Hold'em. Okay. Wednesday, we're gonna have a $550 Omaha Eight or Better Tournament at 3 p.m. Thursday, we're gonna have a $550 Horse event. And Friday at 3 p.m. as well, we're gonna have a $550 Pot Limit Ho event. Every day at noon, we're still going to have No Limit Hold'em events. Wednesdays will be a 2080, Thursdays will be a 550, and Friday we're having a $1,000 buy-in Heads Up Championship, limited to 64 players. And you guys definitely expect to sell out pretty quickly. We do. We're about halfway there right now, and we anticipate selling out by Friday. Okay. Now, the main event's coming up. How can people qualify for cheap? Well, the easiest way, obviously, would be our single table satellites. Their price is low as $65, and you win tournament entry chips for that. You can accumulate enough just playing those $65. We also have a $550 mega satellite that's going to be Monday, uh, the 27th. There's going to be one at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. There's also going to be two $1,000 mega satellites the same day. Those are going to be at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Okay. There's also a free roll going. If you can fit in 40 hours of live play in between now and the 27th, you're invited to a tournament at noon on the 27th, and the top 10 players in that tournament are going to receive a seat. That is definitely possible. Could be kind of crazy to try and, 40, try and fit in 40 hours, but it's definitely possible. So players should definitely come in and do that. Now you mentioned single table satellites, and I heard players get 10,000 in chips, so there's a lot of play in these single table satellites. Yes, the single table satellites, just like our events, we want to give players a lot of play and an opportunity for the best player to win. So in our $1,000 single table satellites, we've decided to give 10,000 chips to all the players in 20 minute blind levels. As Chris mentioned, Michael Phelps is in today's field, and during a break we got to catch up with him for an exclusive interview. Now yesterday you made the final table did, uh, of event number two. Congratulations. Thank you. Got rivered, whatever. I had fun. I was just messing around a little bit. Uh, I got it in bad pretty much one time yesterday. Uh, I was short, stuck with ace-10 against Queens, flopped an ace. But yeah, I was, I mean, I, I had so many people there. Eric Seidel was here yesterday uh, watching. A couple of people were here watching yesterday. I had fun. It was my, it was my third ever uh, live tournament yesterday. And I final table. I was happy. Also competing in today's field is chip leader of the World Series of Poker main event final table, Dennis Phillips. And how are you doing so far? Uh, about chip, yeah. Yeah, a little below chip average actually. So are you just trying to get as much tournament play in as possible before you take your seat? I'm doing anything I can do to improve my game between now and November 9th. And anything. How's it going? I'm feeling pretty confident right now. It's going real well. Okay. And I heard you're also training with Roy Winston a little bit. How's that going? Okay. We've got, uh, with Roy and uh, Joe McGowan, we've got an agreement there. We're doing some coaching. We're helping each other. It's, it's nice. Well, great. I hope you make it to the final table to get some more final table play under you before November 11th. Well, I hope so, too. Thank you very much. The final table of yesterday's event, a $500 buy-in No Limit Hold'em tournament, is playing out today. And Card Player's own CEO, Barry Showman, is one of the final remaining players. That's it from Caesars Palace today, but make sure to stay tuned in to CardPlayerTV.com for more video updates. I'm Christy Arnett for CardPlayerTV.